novel State of Emergency is about the leftist movements of Singapore and Malaysia and how they impinge on the lives of a single family. There's a fascinating amount of history that we seldom look at and we're often asked to believe in history as a linear progression. So I think it's important to consider all the forces that were in play at the time and to try to understand the various participants and what was going on on every side, not just the winning one, the one who got to write the history books. In State of Emergency, we see people on both sides of the spectrum. The English educated civil servant who firmly believes that the status quo is the best case scenario for Singapore. The Chinese educated student who believes that we should be looking to the East instead and that communism represents our only chance for a fair world. All of these people are part of the story that makes up Singapore. And I wanted to write a novel that validated all of their pasts, all of their point of views. History and our individual histories are often complex and irreducible. Without knowing where we came from and how we got here, how can we possibly understand where we are and come to grips with where we go next? The research I undertook when doing this novel came from a range of sources. I read everything I could lay my hands on, both published histories and oral histories in the archives, as well as more unauthorized publications. For instance, when I went to the friendship villages in southern Thailand, where the uh, leftist fighters retired to and still live today, I was almost immediately offered a self-published history of their movement, which of course I grabbed. State of Emergency is a novel that I hope tells a story that is needed, that looks at a segment of our past that I feel is neglected, and that brings together pieces of Singaporean and Malaysian history in ways that I hope sheds fresh light on them.